my tubal reversal doctor actually requested that I do an HSG. And what that is, is basically the dye that they shoot through your tubes. And mine was a blue dye. I'm just learning that there is another dye. I'm not familiar with that, but. Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to the Zebra Tribe fam. So today I'm going to be talking about how I got pregnant fast the first time post my tubal reversal. The reason why I'm doing this is because, and the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, you guys know that I'm currently on a TTC journey trying to conceive base baby number five but baby number two post my tubal reversal. This is a video that I've been meaning to do for quite some time now but I, I don't know for some reason I just kept putting it off and putting it back and so I am bringing it today and I'm just going to share basically some tips with those of you that are on the same journey who are trying to conceive or just some tips to those of you in general who are interested in just knowing when that time may come. So moving on keep in mind um the tips that I'm going to share with you today, they're a little bit different than how I conceived the first three times because honestly during that time, like I didn't really do anything. Things just happened. I was much younger as well. Things just happened and they were fine. But clearly I had tied my tubes at some point and I reversed it. So in the midst of that process and also with only having one tube, I was, you know, I was on a TTC journey and got pregnant pretty much immediately. And I, there are little, there are some things that I did here and there and I thought I would share it with you. So enough talking, enough talking and on with the first tip. So after doing a series of tests that were done after my tubal reversal, like when you do your, when your tubes get um, untied, they do send you, at least my physician anyways, my tubal reversal doctor actually requested that I do an HSG and what that is is basically the dye that they shoot through your tubes and mine was a blue dye i'm just learning that there is another dye i'm not familiar with that but i had the blue dye and what they do is they basically force it through your tube to ensure that there's no blockage uh, along the way and i I had that done. I can't recall exactly when it was done after my procedure, but it was done. And I do feel like that also plays a role because for, at that point on, my tubes had been sitting there for a good eight years, not, you know, unscathed, not touched in any way, shape or form. And so that I felt like despite him put connecting them back together, he wanted to make sure everything could flow through. And like I said, I only have one tube. So he wanted to make sure that one was up and operating, functioning, you know, really well. I know um, that other women do do that outside of um, tubal reversal. So that's something I guess to consider if you are ever, if you're experiencing any issues, you might want to talk to your doctor and see what they say about the HSG test. Now, the second thing that I did was because I knew I was about to TTC, I made sure I was taking my prenatal vitamins. I was doing that basically after my surgery began. I know that you, you know, you just want your body to be, um, absorbing all the nutrients and stuff. I don't think it's like, I mean, the first few times I ran, I think I didn't know. And I was just like, or at least the very first pregnancy, I had no clue. And it wasn't until I was pregnant that you get put on prenatals, but being aware of all the things now it, makes sense if you know you're TTCing definitely get yourself on vitamins before you begin your journey that way your body's just getting prepared so that is something that I definitely did the next thing that I used that I thought was super super vital was using a period tracker my whole life I wasn't using a period tracker there are times here and there where I would write it down and even all the other times when I did conceive when I thought did I hit or miss my period date or, you know, you just kind of wait till it comes and it arrives upon you spontaneously and it's just like, oh, okay, our Aunt Flo is here. No, girl. I got myself equipped with a nice period app this time around and it was so good. Like, it just gets you, just, I don't know, it gets lets you track so much. Like, it lets you see your cycle, how long your cycle is, is it consistent, it lets you know when you're fertile, which is very specific to TTCing and obviously getting pregnant fast. If you don't know when you're fertile, well, <laughs> you're going to be baby dancing all the time and you could be missing the dates and mixing them up and you don't even know. So you might want to check that out. <laughs> it's... 
yeah, I definitely find a, a period tracker. There's so many of those apps out. You don't have to use the one I use. The one that I'm using is legit called period tracker, not sponsored, but yeah, there are lots of different apps out there. I think there's another one called flow. You can use these apps to just help you get yourself in order. And also they do kind of show you like a, a date where you are supposedly or the possibility of you ovulating, like it's a possible date, but obviously you can be more accurate with an OPK sticks and, um, and check checking your when you're ovulating. I did go ahead. That's another little um, tip as well. I did go ahead and I bought the TTC package, as I've mentioned in a few other videos here on YouTube. I've mentioned it because um, I did go ahead and buy it, but I didn't get to use it uh, in the fullest because I did conceive relatively quickly. I conceived in the very first month of trying. Mind you, that did end in a chemical pregnancy. It was short-lived only for about two days, but then I immediately got pregnant again month two of trying, cycle two. So definitely check out those OPK sticks if you are interested in, like if you really want to be precise. For me, I felt like one of the things, I guess this, what I'm about to say is linked to number four. Last but not least is tip number four for me and it is the one, it's basically not stressing. Um, this was hard. It's a hard thing to do. I know it's, especially, I don't want to say especially in my case because I'm not the exception, but in my case, it was just a little different being that I tied my tubes and I was reversing it again and I, there was just so many like what ifs like what if it doesn't work and then I was told I only had one tube and then it was like what if that one doesn't work so there were just like a series of things or elements that I felt like could have you know could have caused or prevented me from not becoming pregnant and so I don't know they were there I was trying my best not to stress about it but it was just like getting to me and so eventually I had to learn like I was speaking to my girlfriends and just asking them what their take on and a lot of them gave me good advice and just saying like just trust in the Lord and pray about it and that was the huge thing for me so that I'm gonna say that was huge for me is praying like keeping the faith and just trusting that this is God's wish because I tied my tubes because I thought I was done and he rested it on my heart to want to have more children it was on my heart to want to grow my family and he has I don't know, like I felt the more I started praying and the more I trusted in him and just that it, it's meant to be, the more I just felt at peace and I started letting go my own anxiety, my own anxiety, knowing that it's not in my control, it's in his. And that was like, I feel like those were the moments where I just started feeling more and more at peace. And like it just, it was just really helpful in the whole TTC journey. Not to mention like even at the whole, the, the stage of the whole TTC and the baby dancing and the pressure part, like in just trying your best to enjoy yourself and have fun <laughs> and not stress yourself out about trying to conceive and trying to have a baby. Your body definitely responds to stress in certain ways and you don't want that to be the thing that holds you back. So I would definitely give you guys and suggest that as a tip to you guys, that those of you who are TTCing and maybe those of you who are ready to TTC in the near future, yeah, just um, keep in mind that stress is not good. It's not healthy at all, but you know, so do your best to kind of counteract it or whatever, or just, you know. So yeah, I think those are pretty much all my tips. I uh, don't know what else there is to share, but um, those are the things that I use, and I think that they definitely work in helping you to get pregnant fast. I am definitely going to implement them. Mind you, I have other videos out here on different topics pertaining to um, me still breastfeeding and whatnot, but that's a whole different can of worms. I will talk about that. I've already spoken about that and we'll see what happens in this in the midst of my TTC journey. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you are enjoying our channel. Um, if you guys, uh, like I said, we are now on a road to 10,000 and I definitely want you guys to do whatever you can to help us grow this platform so I can share just continue to share my experiences, my words, my, um, I will say words of wisdom, <laughs> but you know, just share, um, our journey and our life and our experiences with you guys. And, um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're liking what you're seeing and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't already. Much love guys. Bye. Hi guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe. 
subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>